Hello. So today in this video, I will discuss about the CSS introduction only, not complete one. So what is the CSS? First things. So CSS stands for the cascading style sheets. You see here, there are the three words are there: cascading, style, and sheets. So first of all, we see what is the meaning of the cascading. Cascading refers to the procedures. That determines which style will apply to the certain sections if you have more than one style rule. So this is the one kind of the procedures that determines which style will apply to a certain sections. Got it? Coming to the again the style. The style is again how you want a certain part of your page to look. You can set things like a color, margin, font, anything. Okay, like a table, paragraphs, and headings also. So that all comes under the meaning of the style. Coming back to the sheets. So cascading done, style done. Now the sheets. So sheets are like a templates or a set of rules. Sheets, uh, sheets are like a templates or set of rules for determining how the web page will look. Okay, so you got again the cascading meaning, style meaning, and the sheets. So for any web page, first we have to see the procedures. In that procedures, we have to apply the style, and that apply we have to see the where we can apply that style in particular templates, other by rules, other by the any section of your page. Okay. So all together we can say as a, it's a set of the rules to tell browser how your web page should look. So CSS is a styling language. A set of rules to tell browser how your web page should look. So again, here one more word is there. Style, style. We somebody they can say the style only. Cascading style sheet means together I discuss. Now the only style we are talking about the web page because the style is very important and popular weird word for the web page. So anybody will talk about what about your style of your page? Then we can say style is nothing is a command that we set to tell the browser how a certain section of web page should look. So if you in your suppose that in your HTML you can use any style of the any elements. Okay. So p h1 table d so many elements are there. So any elements you can apply for. You can apply the again the style. So just now I told the style is the set of the rules. So whenever you are writing the rules, how you can write the rules. So for any rules for the style, there are the only two parts are there. One part is called the selector, another is called the declaration. So what is the meaning of the selector? So selector is the HTML element where you want to add the style. So any HTML elements. Either the paragraph, h1, table, b, div, any HTML element. Okay, where you want to add the style that is called the selectors. Getting my points? Now the next thing is called declarations. So declaration is the statement of a style. Means in that style, uh, means that uh, selectors, what you want to follow the rule. Okay, so in that way we can say declaration is the state. Element of a style for what element and made of the property and null that is called a declaration. So declaration means first we have to add that declaration along with the selectors and in that declaration only we have to apply the property and null. Okay. So declaration there are the two parts. One is called the property selector. We can go for the declaration and under the declaration property and null. So see you, see you the link here. First, we can say rules means selector and declaration. Inside the declaration, again, we have to discuss about the property and value. So, what is the meaning of the property? What aspect you want to change? Yes, anything like a suppose that you want to change the background color. That is again one property. Color, color means here font color, font, font means font size, font family, font weight. So many different again properties are there. Margin again, margin left, margin right, margin. Uh, top margin bottom again the different different again the properties are 
available like that one text alignment is there again okay so all of these things comes under for the property and every property fixed value is there take example for the color so you can keep the color value either in the hexadecimal value otherwise direct you can write the color name but the sometime what happened you cannot tell the exact color name okay same problem for the computer so in that places better option is the hexadecimal one like that one font again the different italic bold okay font size again 40 px 24 px whatever you are giving margin again you can terms of the px also we can provide so that is called again value so first selector then declaration inside the declaration property and value okay so now see here uh selector property well essential here the uh, we can again the say like this only the thing i want to change okay the selector property value we can say essential meaning here is that the thing i want to change what i want to change the aspect of the thing i want to change what i want to be okay so that is called the selector and the property value essential meaning here again i am giving one very simple example you see here selector property value so selector means here h1 that is the again stable element so property this h1 again i want changing the property of the color okay so color is the property and what value i am writing the red color right so we can see here i uh, means h1 heading h1 the test color is red we can say like this only h1 heading the text color is red but whenever writing the css how you can write h1 then again the curly bracket then we have to write the name of the property so color is here property and the value again you can write red but between the property and the value you see the symbol we have to put for the colon and after the value again we have to put for the semicolon anything is the missing again that in fact that css is again not apply for your web page will not get any error but that impact is not there in for your web page okay so just uh, my intention to just i want to color for the text in my paragraph to be yellow just this is the one of the my example i am just thinking i will do like this only for paragraph whatever the text is there that should be the yellow what i can do again paragraph elements then again the curly bracket then the because i want for the text color so color colon that is actually the syntax only then again the yellow then semicolon what is the output like this only we will see the output this is the text in the paragraph this is a statement this is the text in this paragraph is the statement but impact of this statement along with the yellow color due to this css only okay like this one again i want to change the background color color and the background color is the different so color means the font color and background color means the background color of that text okay so here again i am writing here two values together so single selector you can add the n number of the properties value okay so color colon blue again i am adding the again the one more property value for h1 and another one background hyphen color this is again the property name background hyphen color Colon again the green whatever name you are writing this is the text name but you can write in the hexadecimal value also then the semicolon one more one more things if you want to add again we can write the property colon value semicolon okay so in this way under the H1 you can add the n number of the properties okay so what we can say like this one I am changing I want for my heading H1 text color is blue but background color to be green okay. So here you see, I am writing the mouth the my intention for the one example. Text color is the red and background color to be yellow. Okay, for whom? For link. So anchor tag for the link color colon then the red same only background hyphen color colon then yellow. Okay, you see the output here. This is the link. This is the my link. Background color is the yellow, and the color is again the color is red. Okay. So this is the again example for the the background color and the color using the CSS. So I think in this video you got the idea about the basic idea about the what is the CSS and what purpose the CSS. 
and again the CSS different things I will discuss in the next video. So thanks for your patience.